let's try to understand a little bit more what exactly happens when passing stuff into functions and when returning stuff from functions. Let's look at a little example over here. I made a function called action and here's the main function so let's see what's going on. First I create a integer y and I give it 0. Now here I'm creating a integer z and I'm assigning to it whatever will be returned from the action function which we declared will return a integer and because we declared that the action function will take a integer x as a parameter we are now supposed to pass in a variable into this function and so we are passing in the y integer that we created just before this is called passing by value and it's called that because whenever you do the whenever you pass stuff into a function by way of passing by value what you are doing is you are passing a variable into this function not because you need the actual variable itself to go into that function you just need the value that's in that variable to be passed into the other function as in contrast to let's say if you need to pass the actual object into the function which we will explore a little bit later so again whenever you pass by value like we're doing right over here your point is most probably not that you need the actual integer y itself to be passed into some other function what you need is that the value of whatever is inside y should be passed in there and y you don't care about y you just you can for all you know you don't mind if y just stays behind in the main function and doesn't actually come along with us into the action function you don't care about that what all you need is that whatever value is inside y should be brought over to the action function and so this is what happens when you when you pass by value if you did if you did everything correctly in the declaration in the definition and by calling the function the computer will will take the value of whatever expression you put inside over here this is a very simple expression you just put a variable but of course you can also put in like variable plus two and stuff like that all different kinds of expressions as long as the resulting expression of course is a integer variable like we're supposed to be passing into here so the computer will take whatever value results from this thing that you're passing by value and it will copy that value and just assign it to the variable in this function in the function that was called it's as if there's some sort of invisible assignment operator uh, between this integer x and in the action function and the y that was passed in from the main function but this assignment operator magic happens behind the scenes when calling from this function to that function the point is that the actual integer variable y stays in the main function and the actual integer x belongs in the action function and when passing by value only the actual value that results from whatever you put into the parameter over here only its value is copied and assigned to the parameter that you declared in this function and because it only copies the value and puts it in the local fun in the local variable now we understand why whatever you're going to be doing with this local variable in the action function will not affect the y variable in the main function whatsoever it is two different variables completely the only thing that ever happened between the two is that the computer copied the value of y and assigned it to the variable x over here but no more than that anything you do to x has nothing to do with the variable y so this is why when passing by value you do not have any effect on the passed variable into the called function inside the, the called function and now pretty much the same thing happens when returning a variable over here in the action function we increase the variable the local variable x by one and then we return the value the variable x just plain and simply like that and when we do it just plain and simply like that again what we are doing is we are returning by value 
which means that we are in no way returning the actual variable x what we are doing is we are returning the value of whatever you put over here if you happen to put the variable x then the value of the variable x will be returned as the returned argument the integer that we promised to return from this function and whatever value that happens to be becomes the expression where we call the function and that gets assigned now to the variable z as we learned and again what happens over here is that the computer will just copy the value of the variable x over here and express it in this expression over here and so that copied value which again has nothing to do with the variable x anymore the variable x has been destroyed because the action function went out of scope we did not pass the actual variable x we just passed the value of whatever it happened to be in it and that right now gets assigned to the variable z so passing by value means exactly that when you pass some variable you are not passing the actual variable whatsoever and you are not returning the actual variable whatsoever you are only passing by value and returning by value you're just getting the value of whatever you put in the argument to be passed into a function or the argument or the argument that is being returned from the action function now unfortunately the antonym of this kind of passing is not available in C++. There is no way to actually pass uh, an actual variable itself into a function instead of passing its value. As we will see in truth, everything you ever pass into a function works pretty much the same way, which is passing by value. Meaning that whatever you put as the parameter to be passed into the function will never ever be itself passed into that function but rather its value will be passed into the function it will be copied over to whatever it's supposed to be copied over so an exact antonym an exact contrast to passing by value does not exist in C++ however there is something else called passing by reference which takes advantage of pointers to give us the same effect as if we would have passed an actual variable into another function. Let's have a look at a little example of passing by reference using pointers. Here I changed around the declaration and definition of the action function that it will return a pointer to integer and it will also take as a parameter a pointer to integer. Now let's see what passing by reference means. Over here I create the integer y just like before over here I create a integer pointer called pointer and I'm making this pointer point to whatever is going to be returned from the action function so now we are calling the action function and since we promised that the action function will take a integer pointer as a parameter so passing the regular integer y itself is not going to work because that's an integer not a pointer to an integer so we are passing in the address of the variable y which as we learned is equivalent to passing in a pointer of that type now as I explained the computer will do the exact same thing when passing this variable when passing this expression into the called function it will not take the actual variable y it will not take an actual pointer to the variable y it's only going to copy the value of whatever expression you put over here the value right now happens to be the address of the variable y the computer will leave the variable y in the main function and just copy the value of its address now coming to the action function it will assign that address to our local pointer var variable over here the uh, the parameter that we declared in this function now even though this sounds like a regular plain old passing by value the trick is that right now we have absolute full control and access to the variable being pointed to because the value that was passed is the address of our variable y that exact value was copied over if it was 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the main function that value is copied over to our function too 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever the address happens to be now we have a pointer in our function action that is the equivalent of having the actual integer y in our function we can increment it 
we can change it around and those changes will take permanent effect on the actual integer y which really belongs in the main function.